Hi, ladies and gentlemen, this is Christelle Martinet, and I'm here with a reading for the month of December. And I recorded this part of the video after I've done everything else. And um, what I'm seeing is that the spread that I'm using and the cards that I'm using, I'm using the tarot of the elements, the elemental tarot. And I mentioned it in the beginning of a couple of um, videos, so forgive my, my repetition. And the Vida Sibilo, what would life be without them, to clarify. And I have the, uh, my antler runes with me this time. Um, what I have found is that the spread that I'm using, and um, I feel like I'm repeating myself, I hope I am not, um, gives me some insight into what is coming up in the uh, year of 2018. The questions you raise in the month of um, December, the plans you go into the month of December with, there are certain parts of the year through the elements that I read in the cards this month, and I'll give you some insight on that when they come up, you will see. So I've, um, this is a December 2017 reading and a peek into 2018. That's enough. Let's get into the readings. Hi Aquarius, it's Christelle here and before I start I wanted to show you my stones and I've been showing everybody in all of the videos so forgive me for the repetition if you've watched other. This is fluorite and there is a um, sliver of purple there. I don't know if you could see it. It's pol There it is. Polished fluorite. My moldavite, moldavite and citrine. Citrine which is polished as well. It's like sun. Okay, let's see now what is in store for Aquarius for the month of December and beyond. Let's see what's in store for Aquarius for December and beyond. Aquarius, 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 December and beyond. Okay, the Six of Wands, the Ten of Swords, the Devil, the Six of Pentacles, and the Ace of Cups. Now, the Six of Wands, as we come into the month, the questions you ask yourself with the Six of Wands is, um, has to do with Jupiter and Leo, and it's a Leo period. You ask yourself, well, this is a, a card that signals in some form of success, and the question you ask us yourself is, when is success coming my way? When is it going to be coming my way? And the Six of Wands tells you that it will be in the summertime. It will be in the period of late uh, June, July, and the beginning of August. We'll get back to that. The Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords here is a card that talks about the end of a very, very difficult cycle. And it is the sun in Gemini. And uh, we, although we are not completely out of it, this is the actions you will be taking, or you have taken, because um, this card tells me that it, with the beginning of the month of December, let's say the worst is behind you. And um, being a 10, the 10 of swords, we have the sun in Gemini, in the Gemini period, which would be, um, let's say, March, April, uh, the end of March, the beginning of, no, sorry, the um, end of May, the beginning of June. Uh, and this is when things will start truly coming your way. This is when you can feel a, a, the, the load being lightened in terms of your responsibilities. 
here I have the devil and um, everyone just cowers away when they see the devil. I actually like this card. It's a Capricorn card and the Capricorn card is this month is um, uh, the 21st of December to the 20th of January. So we have a very difficult time here. I'm going to highlight that and see what that's all about. This is the environment you'll be around the month of December uh, in that period, 21st to the 21st of January. Six of Pentacles. Now, the Six of Pentacles here is the moon in Taurus. Now, you are getting back. The, you, the universe is giving back to you, and you are then bestowing uh, to others. You're giving to others. It's the Taurus card. It's a moon in Taurus. And in one of the moons in the Taurus period, either the end of... Um, the end of April or the beginning of May is when you'll have the opportunity to be much more gregarious with your uh, uh, earnings, with your things, and being able to offer others. Um, this is the emotional card as well. And it is the idea, uh, Aquarius, that you would like, let me um, turn the uh, audio off. Okay. It is the idea that you would like to bestow your emotions on others um, but you will have to wait for a moment and it is around that period the um, uh, um, what did we say we said the uh, period of um, uh, six of uh, pentacles it was the period of uh, Taurus so we've got the end of April and the beginning of May now um, what it, since it has to do with your emotions this will lead to some form of change and the form of change we have in the beginning of the cups um, so the, the cup suit and this is the beginning of love and that will be uh, a, a period in the period of uh, 2018 right after the Taurus sign um, when you will be able to start feeling that let me take the the um, on the ten of swords and see what that has to say if they have to add Okay, it's the end of uh, suffering, and of course, well, so Speedy, finally you're taking a breath of relaxation, sighing here. So Speedy, and the um, female lover with a nemico, a matricia and nemico, with, there's, these two could be man or female. So here it is, it seems, that you decide the action that you take is precisely one of, okay, it's time for me to raise my gaze and look elsewhere. You've made, this is a decision that you're taking and the change will come about in terms of a relationship with someone new that you decide. I'm going to take three Sibylla cards over the devil. It's a trying month for you and you've come into with that Ten of Swords, very difficult month for you, very trying. Okay, what is this all about? All right, jealousia, jealousy, malinconia, melancholy, and pensiero, thought. Um, I would like to say it's all about the green-eyed monster, the obsession that this uh, someone in your life is not corresponding to your expectations, or that they have a person in their life that you cannot accept, or that they, that the, the 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 situation is such that. In all uh, areas, all matters, in all uh, realms, this, you are getting constantly the response that this is a no-no. This is a no-go as well. This is something I cannot do. So the month will be trying to, for you where then you will take the decision that it's time for another, another love, another um, something that will be corresponded to you, something that will be requited. I'm going to take the um, Ace of Cups with the Sibylla cards here. 
All right, here we go. And the, we have the casa, the house. Dottore, the doctor, and um, amante, the male lover, could be a female. And what we have here is that um, a person, before you decide for the change, this is what led to the change, is a person is still with their partner, and it doesn't seem that they'll like, be likely to leave them in the in near term. Okay, so that's what's leading up to that. And one more. Um, we look at this Six of Wands as we come into the month. This Six of Wands, which is Jupiter and Leo, that gives us the period of Leo as some uh, something coming back to you. Um, Viaggio, the movement trip, Belvedere, uh, future, bright future, and domestico, the house domestic. Now, there is, I could say the jury's still out as to how your future at the beginning of this month feels to you. You're really to get, you're, you're, you're really ready for a big change. And you say to yourself, Aquarius, I've had it. Now is the time for me to get up and go. Now let me take a look at, first let me show you the bottom of the deck which is the death card. And that, ladies and gentlemen, Aquarius, really shouts at you, it is time for a transformation, a complete transformation. I'm, it's so cold in Rome, I'm choking myself with this, with this shawl. Okay, um, let me see, let me get the, um, Aquarius is going to be a difficult month for you, but it is change as well. Get ready for the change. You would like to stay where you are in the situation with that person, with your, even with the pain that you're feeling, because it seems more comfortable to you, you're more used to it. Your nameless, shapeless, rune here, weird, is a nameless faceless rune here weird is telling you that you need to follow your gut you need to do what you feel best for wunyo the joy in your life because that will bring you the key to move forward and unless you change success will swords is telling you that it's going to go back to a, a swords situation the ten of swords situation unless you decide consciously and in your uh, in all of the faculties of your mind in December early on that you want a big change I do hope this was of help to you ladies and gentlemen Aquarius and until we read together again namaste